Yo, 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 divas. It's Lindsay. All right. This, I think, should be our final training video. So we are going to talk about the reports feature of your Pure Sale app. This should be something everybody should get excited about. If you use it properly and correctly, this will make your life just so much easier and it helps setting goals so great. Um, and it helps just keep you on that right track of being able to see what's going on in your business. Um, but before I get to reports, I'm just going to click really quick on the contacts. This is something that um, is going to sync up with your COO. So I love having my contacts on my COO for my email lists and for uh, pulling up to do my follow-up texts and so forth. But one of the cool things in here is you can actually see what each person's previous uh, purchases were. So if I click on one of my girls, I can click on previous purchases and it'll pull up everything that she has bought from me from um, any party. So very, very cool um, option. Now mine has girls in here that are pre pure sale. My girls in here, some of them are pre website that we've had with pure romance because I've been doing this for so long. So uh, just being able to go back and see these is an amazing feature. So love that a bit, the contacts. You can also see it. That's what this is in the report. So when you first get into your reporting, this um, is pulling up the current month party sales uh, overview. So looking here, some of the things that I like to check out is I have a goal to hit $10,000 in sales for the month of March. You can see right now that with my party sales, I'm at $8,116. That is not exactly where I want to be. I want to be over that. So that means that I need another $1,900 in sales to hit my goal. It's a great thing to be able to kind of push you to get those uh, last minute phone calls in for the month. Um, offer the bonus birthday discount um, by calling those girls who had party or birthdays in March and saying, hey, uh, you still have an opportunity to use your discount. So if you want to know what I'm going to be doing the next two days, that's what I'm going to be working on, right? I can see how many orders that I had this month. And remember how um, I was telling you in the other video, I don't really like to use the outside orders app. This is a place where it would be kind of nice to have the outside orders because it's kind of cool to see the percentage that you get from those. Now, your profit percentage that this is going to show for you, ladies, Remember, this is very minimal. So Pure Romance doesn't factor in any daily sales that you take advantage of. It doesn't take into uh, account any free product you might have. Um, this is only factoring off of your base percentage. So this factors off my 50% buying discount. Yours will factor off whatever buying discount you are currently at. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at it. I like that because conservative numbers really, really help with budgeting. Um, in a proper way and I'd always rather have a little bit extra rather than not enough, right? This is where I got really excited was being able to look at my prior year. So you can see my prior year, I had five parties scheduled <laughs> and um, my outside orders and my total sales was so very minimal. I know we had a lot of stuff going on last March, but there's no excuse for this kind of work, right? Not when it's your full-time job. I know if it was my uh, my little hobby on the side, that would be great, but <laughs> it was not. Um, and then you get to look down at the bottom where it shows your growth. That's where you can get excited, you guys. You know, enjoy it, have fun with it, see where your um, your your growth is happening, and get excited over it because. Uh, that's where you want to see your business going. Lots of options here for your reporting. So this here is going to be your sales overview report. Your party profit report is one that I tend to look at a lot. So it's going to show every party that I have entered in here, not just the ones that have already happened. So remember we were talking about how um, it's going to show your net party profit as negative because 
it's showing that it was a cost of the party for me to do it, um, even though there's no cost yet. So uh, these down here are going to show my actual parties. And you can see my March outside orders, my birthday orders, and um, my product tester. I do all as individual parties. But this will show you, you've got your the uh, date, the party title, your hostess, the amount of guests that were at the party, and the amount of orders you collected. Now the guests at the party is going to be whatever you put in as your guesstimate for guests, or if you changed it. When you got to the party, you can change it at that point, um, but it's whatever you put in. Pure Romance doesn't like automatically know how many people are at your party. It'll show your retail sales. So this is the amount of retail every product that went out according to you was. So doesn't matter what free gifts you gave or what discounts you gave, it's gonna show the total retail amount, including your hostess order. Discounts given is going to be any good discounts that you gave. And then if you marked an item as a gift, then it'll show here as a gift given. Uh, that's going to give you the real true cost of your party. And then your net profit and your profit percentage. So remember, I like to use that party profit dollar amount to pay yourself with. So take that amount from your party, divide it in thirds. One third goes to your bills because you need to pay your bills, right? Pay yourself, put it in your checking account. One third goes to your why. So whatever your why is, why are you doing pure romance? Are you paying for braces? Are you paying for your kids' dance lessons? Are you wanting an addition to your house? Are you saving up for a vacation? Put it into that savings account and it covers your why. Okay, so you're doing this for a reason. And then one third goes back into your inventory. So start stocking up on your products so that your party profit percentage would actually be higher than what it shows in here because you're going to have those products on hand. You're going to get to buy them at a better discount and saves you a lot of money in shipping. Yay! So uh, that's what you're going to want to, to factor in there. Um, so that's going to show you all of the parties individually. So party profits, outside party profits. So mine's not really going to show anything, right? Because I don't really do a whole lot with those um, upcoming parties. So these are the parties that I have that have not happened yet. So these are all the girls that are in my, my list here. And as long as you have their email or phone number, you can pull this up and be able to do a lot of your hostess coaching right from here, which is super, super great. Purchasing customers. So these are the girls who have ordered from me at any point in the past. So not really right here. You're going to see like each person, what they are doing for your business. And when you're entering in your contacts, when you're selling the product, you're able to put in if she's interested in hosting a party, if she's interested in becoming a consultant. And once you click that, no matter what the interest level you put in is, it's going to show up in your report that she's interested and like what level she's interested at. So this is a great way to be able to go back through um, your leads and see, because you could actually pull up the party leads and all of these girls are girls who were interested in hosting a party. So it's a great way to go back through and find your parties, right? Same thing with opportunity leads. I can list it by that too. And if I'm having a good kid sale, wouldn't that be a really great place to start? I think so. You can click with your last order date so you can see who the most recent people who shopped with you were and be able to go back through and do your follow-ups from that point. Uh, again, love how easy this is. Sold unfulfilled. So this here is how I tend to track a lot of my back orders. And don't pay any attention to the top ones on mine because they're kind of um, some weird old things that I can't seem to get deleted out of here. But 
for the most part, this works great. So I know that these girls are waiting on products that um, most of them were from my new product tester group. And they have told me already that they're coming by to pick up their products. So that's why they are showing that they haven't gotten them yet because they haven't come by to get them. And if they don't get them within the allotted time, then I will just pop it in the mail and ship it out to them because that's how I roll. Oh, and then when they come by to pick it up, all I do, oh, like she came by and picked hers up last night. So you click on their name and it shows everything that they were waiting on. You go to show order and then you just go back through and mark them off back order. And then it takes her out of that list. So that's how we do that. Inventory sold. So this will actually help me track what my top selling products are. Um, I can see how many of things that I have on hand. So what is what I have the most on hand? Uh, lots of discontinued items, right? <laughs> Getting ready for that flash sale. And the item that I have sold the most of obviously has come clean, but if you add up all the coochies, coochie is definitely our number one selling item, right? So uh, it's kind of cool to be able to go back through and see what your top selling items are. This will help you decide what you should be ordering and keeping on hand more, right? Inventory on hand. So this is where you could actually create, and if you come up here to the top corner, I can email myself this whole report. So if I don't wanna look at it on my iPad, um, I can print it out and have that full report. So inventory on hand. Um, when I download that report, I can, it'll pull it up as like a file to where it'll, I can create a, um, a ba -ba 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 Excel spreadsheet and it'll add up my actual uh, value of my inventory on hand. We have add, asked them to add that down at the bottom where it'll calculate it for us, but so far, no go. And products to order. Oh, this is a really awesome thing. So uh, before I go in and place an order with Pure Romance, I always pull this up just to double check and see what it is that I have currently back ordered. And I make sure that these are the items that are on every single order. But the only way this really helps you is if you are going back in and entering in your, uh, or clearing out those back orders. So, because otherwise it's going to keep showing up in here and you don't want to keep reordering it, right? So these are all the items that I still owe to people that were in that back order list. It just gives it a much easier place to view it. All right, I think that's everything on the reports. If you guys have any questions, um, that's pretty much everything that it comes to Pure Sale. And I hope you really enjoyed it. And remember that Pure Sale is how Pure Romance tracks a lot of um, what we're doing. So.